Hey guys, this is Mustang One Two Hundred, and I want to show you this real quick airplane that I've made. Uh, before I end up flying it, I just want to talk about it a little bit how I, what made me decide to make an airplane like this, and what, um, what electronics I'm gonna use. So, let's start off with the history of how why I made this airplane. Uh, a little while back, since I go to the Apollo Airfield near uh, Van Nuys, uh, I like to see airplanes. So as I was there, uh, Dave from Nanoplanes, I was looking at his couple of his, his airplanes, his uh, Nano Sharks and his new Speed Shark that he's come up with, and I decided to make my own pylon racer. Not trying to copy, but I'm just trying to like, you know, it's my first experiment with a speed plane, and uh, I didn't make it exactly the same, because it's pretty much a Nano Sharks wing is like less than half the size of this wing. Uh, so I decided to build a little pylon racer, pretty big, compare it to these airplanes out here, compare this T-28, it's pretty small. So I, I decided to build this, I don't know what to call it yet, if you guys can help me uh, decide what to call it. So, um, I want to see if, you, if you guys could help me know what to call this airplane. Uh, I haven't decided what to name it, and I think I'm gonna put orange stickers on it, like stars, so I can actually see it in the in the sun. Uh, so let's talk about the equipment that I've used and what I've been using. So let's start off with this little motor. It's that one uh, Rocket Series Exceed RC. It's a 2850 kV motor, and I I'm gonna make it spin a what's it called a seven x four prop. Inside the airplane, there is a 40, it's probably a 40 amp ESC. I think I'm gonna end up changing that with the Fantasy Racer 50 amp because uh, I think this motor exceeds more than 40 amps. Uh, so, if you guys could uh, wait for a while while I set this tripod and uh, hold on real quick, set this. Get the, uh, I'll get the wing off real quick.
Alright guys, so I'm back. I've taken off the wing. So uh, the wing holds at least, at least uh, it holds four bolts. Uh, so the bolts are inside there, inside the wood. So, inside, carefully, you got a Gen Zace battery and the 40 amp PSCs under it, right here. Um, I still don't know if I should switch 40 amp to a 50 amp. Uh, I think uh, the last time I've used this motor, they tested it for me at the field. I think it was drawing more than 40 amps, so I think I'm going to have to switch out that. So we got the motor, 2800, 2850 KV motor, uh, 40 amp PSC, a 3-cell 22 milliamp battery. Uh, and now let's talk about the servos. Alright, as you guys can see, they're 9 gram servos. Uh, hopefully they won't strip inside while flying this airplane. Um, that could also be a possibility with this plane. I don't know if they uh, have enough power with with its weight. I'm, I'm not sure how much this weighs, but rough estimate of, I think, above maybe a pound, two pounds. And here we got another 9 gram servo powering my elevator. Notice that this airplane has no rudder. I didn't decide to build a rudder on this airplane because I didn't uh, want to have a... Um, because it's kind of difficult building rudders on, on, for me. Because sometimes I mess up. Sometimes I don't make them good. Sometimes they're flimsy. So I need to learn a little bit more on making rudders. Uh, so I just decided to go with the three channel speed plane. Uh, so, as you can see, it's uh, pretty pretty big compared to other airplanes that I've got. Uh, and I got a stopper there for the wing. So this is uh, what it's got two carbon fiber spars inside. That's only to maintain from this part right here flexing. Uh, so I've got most of it down. I'm gonna use my DX6 on this. As you can see, my DX6 is inside there. Uh, I've decided to use the DX6 for uh, better, better, uh, so I can learn a little bit more about my DX6. So. Uh, while I get my DX6 ready, uh, you, you guys enjoy some of the music I'm going to put on right now.
All right, guys, I've, I'm back, and uh, I've put in the receiver inside the, the motor. So I'm gonna use the spec the Spectrum AR6210, the DS. What, what, what is this? Yeah, the DSMX receiver on my Spectrum DX6i. So uh, this isn't what it's gonna be called, because uh, that used to be the Fantasy Racer right here, but. Uh, Everything works fine. I, I forgot how to plug in my elevator, but Elevons works well. Um, throttle does too. As you can see, I barely tapped that, and it's, it sounds already powerful. Uh, so I've decided to uh, build this. So stay tuned, guys, and hopefully you could watch the the flight mate, the mating flight of this airplane. And I hope it's going to be sweet. It's either crash or burn. Hopefully it's going to be a victory. Because I really don't want to get a crash and burn. I don't want to get a fail. And show it on YouTube. Because uh, it's kind of, it makes me feel kind of ashamed of not building a well, and, well enough aircraft for you guys. Uh, so stay tuned guys. And uh, I will upload the flight video soon after it's all completely built. Because I still need to put on some landing gear. As you can see. I've decided to put on landing gear. Or if you guys, uh, you know, so I'm going to use that little small wheel down there. I'm going to use that. And uh, hopefully this airplane flies. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, please subscribe, comment, and stay tuned. I'll be back soon. And hopefully with the maiden flight. All right, guys. Bye.